I've always wanted to live in a place like Vail. Growing up in the Northeast, uh, in uh, Connecticut, it's always been a dream of mine to, you know, move somewhere in Colorado or a ski mountain town. So this year has been somewhat of a dream. It's just a very, you know, inspiring place. And the people out here are so driven by the work that they do, but they also have a life outside of work and so many passions and hobbies. And professionally, I mean, the best sports fellowship in the world happens to be in Vail. And there's just a wide breadth of knowledge and perspectives. And whether that's shoulder or hip or knee, we really get it all. We start to meet fellows from different years and start to realize a family that is kind of created through the fellowship. My wife and I got married uh, right before we came out here, you know, small COVID wedding. And I can't imagine a better, more awesome place to have spent our first year of marriage. Uh, it almost feels like this was a year long honeymoon. We took up skinning. Uh, one of the things we love the most about it is we could actually bring the dog with us up there and, you know, memories that'll definitely last me for a long time. My first thank you would be uh, to my wife, Kate, for, you know, making the move out here. I'm really grateful for, for her. I know I also want to say thank you to all the doctors' teams, their trainers, PAs, uh, office staff, who I know put a lot into the day-to-day -day, um, work that goes into the clinic. So, you know, we can focus on operating and focus on learning and focus on research. Ram for being able to set up cadavers on last minute. Obviously, Erica for just helping keep us in line. And there's just so many opportunities inside and outside the hospital to get in, uh, involved in, just say yes to everything and have a great year.